Hi guys, I'm Michelle Wright with the Calvis Creative Cards.com. And I am an Oklahoma farm girl. We actually do raise cows. And I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So I juggle both those uh, full-time jobs. So when I say I am the cow whisperer, I am the cow whisperer. Uh, this is my very first time to ever be on a Facebook live or a YouTube live. I do Facebook lives every Tuesday night. It's called Craft Until the Cows Come Home at 7 o'clock Central Time. Down in the description of this video, you will find my Facebook page link that you can hop over there if you'd like to join us there. Uh, hi, Lisa. This is new to me. I don't know how things are going to work. I don't know if you can see everything in the correct direction. I hope you can. I hope I see comments. I see Lisa's comment. That's a good sign. It looks clear on here. Uh, just to give you guys a little bit of background about me, I'm on here to inspire, educate you, and uh, hopefully uh, convince you and make you understand how wonderful the Stampin' Up! products are. Top quality crafting supplies, paper, inks, embellishments, stamps, all coordinate. If you have problems with coordinating colors, you're going to love Stampin' Up. I What we're going to be working on tonight is a, uh, or this afternoon is called Healing Hugs is the stamps that I'm using. And I have all the links in the description. So uh, you can just click on that link. It'll take you right to my store. Just so you know, if you've uh, not followed me before, uh, you will hear me say uh, keeping it real because I'm all about keeping it real. So uh, I don't mince any words and I'm kind of a get down to business kind of girl. So with all that said, I'm going to flip you down and we're going to get started making this card. Hang on just a second. Let's see how this works since this is our first time and let's hope that everything is showing the right direction because if it's not, I'm not quite sure how to flip it. it looks wrong on my screen. What do you guys say? See, hi, Deborah. Yeah, it looks wrong on my screen. This is going to be one of those live and learn things. I'm afraid to click any buttons because I'm afraid it will end it. And we don't want it to end it. Let's get that straight though. Let's get this back here. Hi, Kathleen. Obviously, there's a it's right, it's right. End. Okay, so it's incorrect on my end, right on you. Woohoo! Let's get going. I'm so excited. All right, you guys. How cute is this card? Pretty stinking cute. Wishing you a quick and complete recovery. And on the inside, get well soon. So, said we're using the healing hugs. I'm going to change it up just a little bit. We're going to go with the base on this card. It's crumb cake. It's 11 inches by four and a quarter scored at five and a half. We're going to keep that the same. But I'm going to make the background layer rich razzleberry. Okay. That's five and a quarter by four. And then we've got the crumb cake again. This is three and a half by three and a half. Then we're going to make this layer, the mossy meadow, which you guys know I'm loving the mossy meadow. That's three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Whisper white, three by three. And then my strips here are one inch by four on the whisper white, one and a quarter by four on the crumb cake. So if you guys are ready, let's go. Let's go. All right. Thanks, Stephanie. I'm excited. It looks right to y'all, so it's backwards to me. Okay. This is the inside. We're going to do the inside. We might as well stamp that and get it out of the way. What do you say? So it's five and a quarter by four. We're going to go ahead and, yeah, I'm going to do the same thing. Rich Razzleberry. Rich Razzleberry for my get well soon. Using my grid paper. You guys know I love my grid paper. Put that down. And then I'm going to bring in my mossy meadow for my leaves. I just stamp those off over here. This is one of those distinctive stamp sets. So it's supposed to look 
I don't know. It's got all the dimension in it. See how that's different colors, different tones, and that's on purpose, okay? Love it. Love it, love it. So we can set that over here for now. And then let's bring in our subtle embossing folder. This is one of the dynamic embossing folders, and you guys know I love it. Let me get this up here. See how this is? It looks like linen. Take your cardstock, run it through this embossing folder, and then you've got your own textured cardstock. Best investment ever. My favorite, favorite embossing folder at this time. Because it is a dynamic, that means it's thicker than the others. You want to use your base platform, your embossing folder, and then you want to use one plate is all. Okay. I've got my big shot over here to the right. I'm just going to run it through real quick. How does everything look to you guys? Is it clear? Yeah, this is the best. There you go. Gorgeous. Here, let me get it up here without anything on it. Must have, if you ask me. Must have. Must, must, must have. All right. So we can set this aside for now. And we're going to bring in a piece of scrap paper. And I'm going to do, I've done some masking of my, the large flower. And you guys that follow me, you know that fussy cutting is the devil as far as I'm concerned. I know some of you love it, but it, it's devil to me and it can be the devil if I say it's the devil. Okay. So I've fussy cut that out in advance. So I just wanted to take credit for that because yes, I did fussy cut it out. All right, in this set is this little pattern. It's like little, I don't know what they are, plus marks. And I thought, oh, that would be really cool all over the back of this, but I don't want it, I don't want it too dark. So I'm stamping off and I'm just repeatedly stamping. Don't be stressing out about if it's exactly the same. Just go, go and get it done. Because you're really putting it over and over and we're just adding some dimension, but I don't want it too dark. So that's why I'm doing multiple stampings at times. Well, I don't see any comments right at the moment, so I'm assuming you guys aren't chatting. I don't know if you can share on YouTube. But that would be lovely if you could and you did. For anybody that's new following me, you may hear me say some country slang that you've never heard before. <laughs> Which is all good, right? Okay, got that done. Now we're just going to take our rows and we're going right over the top of that. That's why I wanted that lighter so I could just go right over the top of it. I'm going to do that in the Rich Razzleberry. I want a good impression. Oh my gosh. These distinctive stamps make me squeal. They make me squeal. Come on, baby. Now let's get our rose. I'll leave that. I'm going to need it in just a minute. Bring in my mossy meadow. <clears throat> now, you know how we don't like to rock our stamps? Sometimes it's a good thing. And here's one of those times. I'm going to push down, rock forward a little and back because I've got that little bit of raised up area from that post-it note and it's still not going to get it all, but it's going to help. It's going to make it pretty close. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Love it. So I'll be saving that rose too because I don't want to have to be fussy cutting it again. All right, I think we're done with our Mossy Meadow. Now let's bring in our Whisper White. If all goes well with this, I will be doing a Facebook Live, or a, I keep saying Facebook, I'm so used to Facebook, a YouTube Live class. So I'm just checking it all out. Kind of going in the middle here. Let's hold our mouths right, see if we can get it straight. 
man, the YouTube gods are with me today. So we got that done. You guys are all holding your mouth right. Thanks, Lisa. All right. Now, that's a triple banner punch. Another staple as far as I'm concerned in my craft room. You can take multiple layers. I've got two layers here. Put them up together. Take your triple banner punch. I'm not a, I'm not big into measuring, you guys, but I am big into straight. Okay. All of you that follow me know I can take OCD to a new level. You got to have enough room to hold on to, though. Stick it in there. Get it straight. Everybody holding their mouth right? There we go. Now, our flags are the exact same. Then I can bring this over, and my fingers have a little bit of goo on them. Have some pink or <coughs> some rich raspberry on them. So we're just going to snip that straight across. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me grab a drink of my root beer. Depending on where you guys are, some of you may be doing coffee still. Thanks, Evelyn. I'm just going to go ahead and put this down on top. Trying to keep... I want to keep it straight and I want to keep it the same distance I'm trying. <coughs> Good gracious, I got a tickle in my throat. Okay, we about got it whooped. Let's put this thing together. Triple banner punch. It's listed in the supplies. Love it. Hopefully, you guys that are new to following me will take advantage of make sure that card is turned the right way <clears throat> my Facebook page we have a lot of fun there and I can earn your business customer service number one priority for this farm girl okay we're just putting all of our layers together So I just changed it up just a bit. I really just flipped some colors. Are you drinking root beer too, Lisa? Root beer, the drink of champions. <coughs> Already had my coffee. It's getting close to noon here in Oklahoma. So if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask, ask, ask away. All right, got that all done. Isn't it gorgeous? Okay. Let's grab our dimensionals. I have a this tip on how I go in and remove all the backing on all my dimensionals so I'm not picking off papers. If you jump over to my blog at www.thecowwhisperscreativecards.com, in the search box, just type in tip dimensionals. It'll pop right up super quick. Let's see. Nope, I think it goes this way. I want to get my border at the top and on the side somewhat the same. That's pretty. Let's go ahead and do the inside. And you can change the sentiment on this card and use it for just about anything. <clears throat> All right, let's put this down. Again, it's pretty cute. What are you guys thinking? Just leaving the same distance top and bottom. And then I've got some of the Rich Razzleberry Twine. Still got it on my roll. <clears throat> Just... If you struggle with bows, you should love twine because twine is one of the easiest type bows to tie. Easy, 
easy, easy. But if you struggle with bows and you need to use a bow jig or whatever, get after it. No judging here. I say you do what, everybody's got to do what works for them. I know a lot of you guys watch my tip videos and like my tip videos, and I appreciate that. Thanks, Deborah. I love. Of course, you know, I am using purple, even though it's a version of the Rich Razzleberry. All right. <clears throat> Let's grab a blue dot. This twine comes in the three colors in the set. That's I've got it listed, too, for you guys, so you can... Make sure if there's any adhesive sticking outside that, that you get your bow smashed down on it because you don't want that to stick to your envelope. All right. Oh, which one do you guys like better? I love them both. I love them both. Gorgeous. I'm trying to see how long the delay is here. Healing hugs. Well, I think the I think the delay is quite long. That's something I'll have to figure out and master. Wish. Well, I need to brand these cards. That's one thing that I always do. So let's go ahead and get our brand out here. There we go. Uh-oh. Now my comments are completely gone. So there they are. Ah. Green is your color. Okay, I'm seeing the comments. That's great. Yeah, I like them both, too. I like them both, too. The color combination goes together fabulous. It's new Mossy Meadow and Rich Razzleberry. Well, thank you guys for helping me learn how all this works here on YouTube. I'll definitely be back. It won't be my last time. Uh, I appreciate all the comments, and uh, I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Happy crafting.